Hello, everyone. It is Mark Berman and Brent Furtick. Hello, yes. Mark. Hello. How are you? Glad to be back. Glad to have you back. It is Tuesday, July 30th, and we are going to talk to you about the CBS portion of the Summer Press Tour. We're coming to you live from the hallway at the Beverly Hilton Hotel. <laughs> People, <a> fabulous hallway. <laughs> People are walking by. You're going to be hearing conversations. You're going to be hearing, like, feet, you know, stomping, but that's just the nature of well, being here. And it emphasizes what a busy hubbub we're in, we're in a with, busy with, hubbub. With the TCA right we're now. in a busy hub. So let's talk about CBS. Um, mm-hmm. They were here yesterday. They yes. presented a number of panels on their new shows. Why don't we go through the list of the new shows and we can each say good or bad? Sure. All right. Why don't we start with what would you like to start with? I'll leave it up to oh, you. You know what? The, the one that's getting a lot of buzz, high profile, is the mm-hmm. crazy ones. Yes, the crazy uh, ones. Robin Williams, uh, Sarah Michelle Geller. Right. Um, right. Okay, um, I'll start with this one. Horrible pilot. It was horrible, <laughs> horrible. And you know what? I didn't. I, I found there was no laughs to be, to be found. I felt that Robin and Sarah Michelle had very little chemistry. But more importantly, it's airing on Thursday at nine o'clock. Here's the situation: it's stepping in for person of interest, so that's a little risky because uh-huh. viewers are accustomed to watching a drama, right? And if Lead in the Millers does not deliver, it could be in trouble. So I am giving it a huge thumbs down. Uh, my odds of survival, based on even to ten to one, are eight to one. Wow! What are you giving? You it? know, I'm I I don't I'm not quite as negative as you, and not mm-hmm. just because Robin Williams is right around the corner. Oh, I better be but, quiet. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but you know, I know I thought I thought the show had a lot of potential. Right. Um, but yeah, I, I totally agree. The pilot did not live up to that potential yes. at all. But yes. you know what? If they can find a way to make it work. I mean, mm-hmm. you got some great talent, Sarah Michelle Gellar, Robin Williams, yes. Liberty Kelly, producer. Yes. I mean, yes. I think you've got a lot going for it. Right. Um, and I, I think that alone would probably cause CBS to maybe stick with it longer than they would otherwise. But right. you know what? Time will tell. When we hit episode five, six, seven, we're yes. going to see what this show's like, and then we'll be able to make a right. Right. And another thing to keep in mind is, and this is important, now CBS has three new comedies. Mm-hmm. It also has Mike and Molly in the back burner. And yeah. if one of those comedies doesn't deliver, they could very easily bring back Mike and Molly. Sure. So why don't we now go to The Millers, which is leading into The Crazy mm-hmm. Ones. It's Thursday at 8.30 Eastern Time. Um, it's the tale of uh, a guy from, what's his name? Will 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 from from Arrested development living with his, he's he's dealing with his crazy parents Margot Martindale and Bull Bridges I think a lot of the criticism was there were a lot of fart jokes in the pilot <laughs> a lot yeah. and I, they're implying that when you're older you're constantly having you know flatulence problems sure. but I thought it was funny I thought it was a very funny pilot I laughed a lot I don't think you liked it no I, I, I totally disagree with you on this one, I, I thought there was nothing funny about this right. I thought the writing was exceptionally weak I just I just I just thought it was lame. I, I thought, oh, poor Margot. I thought, you know, an Emmy Award winning <laughs> actress and she's just, you know, <laughs> farting away. Just, n- n- you know, nothing, nothing good about Yeah, but this. don't feel too badly. She gets a nice paycheck, yeah, I'm sure. sure. <laughs> no, okay, so I'll start with you. Uh, is it going to work, yes or no? I don't think so. But keep in mind, it's I, out of the Big Bang Theory, though. Right, but but then again, that that's a double-edged sword, too. Because, right. I mean, if they drop a significant number of that audience, they're going to be looking to fill that hold yes. with something right. and that maybe that's where Mike, Mike and Molly is going to step well, in well my prediction is it's going to lose about 30% of the lead uh-huh. from the Big Bang Theory I think it'll perform similarly to what Two and a Half Men was doing and I think mm-hmm. it's going to work and I'm giving it three to one odds it's oh, good okay. odds alright good now let's head to Monday. We'll go back earlier mm-hmm. in the week. 8.30 is a new sitcom called We Are Men. It's a yeah. tale of four um, single guys, whether they're single, divorced, separated, whatever they are, and they are men uh, sitting in a pool talking about women. Um, I hated it. I hated it. Did you it's, like it? No, no. I, I did not like it at all. And I, and I, but I love the actors individually. I mean, Jerry O'Connell, right. Tony Shalhoub, um, uh, Cal right. Penn from... Uh, uh, Harold and Kumar. Yes. I, and, and they're all recently divorced is the hook. Right. And they're all living in this sort of apartment complex for divorced men. Right. And they basically sit around and complain about their ex wives Yes. And, you know, that get that got, that got old for me after about three minutes. Yes. And, you know, 20 minutes in, I'm going, oh, my God, when is this going to end? How long... Can't they make sitcom shorter? <laughs> well, here's the one key ingredient you're not mentioning. Um, apparently, in half the, the panel focused on the fact that Jerry O'Connell's wearing a Speedo in the pilot. <laughs> well, guess what? If anyone's interested, he's wearing a Speedo in subsequent well, episodes. And you know what? This is in a good slot. It's out of How I Met Your Mother, the final uh, season, into Two Broke Girls. Doesn't mean it's going to be a success. Remember Partners last fall? Mm-hmm. I'm giving this a huge thumbs down. My odds of survival, and I think I'm being kind, 
are eight to one. What do you think? Oh, I think that's pretty accurate. I, I I don't see this being around for too long. No, I think it's it's bad. And then yes. on Monday at ten o'clock is a new drama called Hostages. Mm-hmm. And well, why don't you tell everyone what it's about? A, a really intriguing high concept drama where Tony Collette plays this you know like world class surgeon, and she's going to be performing an operation on the president. Mm-hmm. Suddenly, her family and her get they kidnapped by this maniac who's Dylan McDermott, mm-hmm. and the premise is. You have to kill the president when you do this operation, otherwise we're killing your family. So, again, we've got a thing that sounds like, to me, would be a hell of a great movie. Yes. But how are you going to sustain this? Now, it's only going to be 15 episodes, apparently, so it is going to be a limited run. But they said it could be, they could have a second season. It could have a second season, right. of course. They like to, CBS does like to keep its options yes, open. Yes, it does. Um, but, I mean, it's in a time period where, look... You had Hawaii Five O for a mm-hmm. couple of seasons. You had CSI Miami for quite a long run. So yeah. viewers are accustomed to crime solvers. Mm-hmm. A lot of it depends on its lead-in, which we're going to talk about briefly, Mom, which is not yeah. established. I think because it's CBS, it will probably bring in about 10 million viewers. I think it's totally going to skew older. I mm-hmm. think the blacklist on CBS, which competes with it, will completely win the hour in the young demo. So hit or miss. Oh, that's this is a tough one because yeah. normally um, CBS has not had a real good you know, track record when it comes to things that aren't procedural. Yes. And this is very serialized. Yes. Then again, look at how well Under the Dome is doing. And that is Which incredibly renewed, serialized. Renewed for a second season. So, you know, maybe conventional wisdom's off the map with this one. So, so you're saying it's going to work? I think it could. I think it really I'm could. I'm going right in the middle, five to one mm-hmm. odds. And finally, we haven't seen, we're heading into the pilot now yeah. uh, for Mom, mm-hmm. CBS. It's a tale of a, a mother and daughter that are reunited, yeah. and uh, the mother is Allison Janney from the West mm-hmm. Wing. The daughter is, what's her uh, name? Anna Ferris. Anna Ferris, that's right. Yeah. I like mm-hmm. the pilot. I thought a typical Chuck Lorre. Yeah, a very, I mean, you can see Chuck Lorre's fingerprints yes. all over it. Exactly. Which is a good thing. I mean, it's the guy knows thing. what he's doing when, when it comes to, to the multi-camera sitcoms. Right. And it's stepping in from Mike mm-hmm. and Molly. It's out of Two Broke Girls. I think it'll do relatively well. Not a big hit, not a miss. I think it's going to work. Yeah, and I found the pilot not great, but yes. again, lots of potential. Yes. And, you know, if they could just sort of get up to that potential. And I think the secret weapon there could be um, French Stewart from Third Frog yes. and Stun. He plays the, um, yes. the chef in the restaurant where Anna Ferris's character right. worked. We saw a little bit of him. Not and too much. No, not too much, but I think they're going to bring more of him out. He's a funny, yes. funny character. Now, so I'm going to give that. My prediction is three to one on. So I'm giving, you know, I'm giving two of the comedies a good shot. Mm-hmm. Oh, actually, no. I'm giving, yeah, two a good shot, two a bad shot, and hostages right in the middle. So, you know what, I'll, that's you, you know what I'll say for, 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 for Mom? I... I hated Mike and Molly a lot more than I did Mom. And Mike and Molly's really? going into, what, season five now? Season five. Um, so, you know what, I think I think it's got a great shot, frankly. Okay, so you're going to predict it's going to work. I, I really do. All right, well, good for you. Well, Brent, mm-hmm. thanks so much. Thanks, Mark. Always I think a I just heard a blender at the bar right next door, so oh. I think on the way back... My daiquiri's ready. Your daiquiri's ready. <laughs> is that what it is? Well, Brent, thank you very much. Thanks, and so much. I will be back with more news about my favorite medium, a television, tomorrow, and hopefully you'll join me again. Thank you, Brent. Take care, folks. Bye.